swellies. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna make a quick and easy meal for the family. Being married to a Russian, we often have kielbasa at home in the refrigerator. I like to use kielbasa. When I know I'm gonna eat some white rice, kielbasa tends to have a saltier bite, so I'm going to mellow out the saltiness with something plainer, which is white rice and lots of vegetables. I also had soybean sprouts ready, cabbage, I always have onions, and of course, a pantry full of sauces. I can't wait to show you my kielbasa stir fry and I hope you get to share it with your own family. So we're gonna start with prepping. A lot of Asian stir fries front load the work. You're gonna feel like you're attached to the cutting board for a good 20 minutes because you have to prepare all of the ingredients. But once all the ingredients are prepared, the cooking goes very quickly. So I'm slicing the kielbasa, slightly on the thin side because I want each bite to be bite-sized. A lot of Asian cooking assumes that you're gonna be using chopsticks, and since chopsticks don't have knives, we like each of the ingredients to be bite-sized. I have a humongous onion that I got from the supermarket. It is Texas sized because we are in Texas. <laughs> Make sure your knife gets sharpened on a regular basis, maybe monthly. A sharp knife is a safe knife. And be sure to tuck your thumbs in behind your forefingers so that if your knife happens to slip, it doesn't slip towards your thumb. I probably need a bigger cutting board. <laughs> I found that smashing my garlic slices is the easiest way to remove the garlic sleeve. But any way you can remove the garlic skin is the best way. <laughs> so we're gonna chop up our ingredients, get the cabbage ready, and here we have a quarter of a cabbage left. And this stir fry is a wonderful way to use up any sort of leftover veggies that are on its last legs and you need to find a way to use it up before its expiration date. And cabbage is a wonderful and filling vegetable that Russians, Asians, people all around the world really enjoy. And lastly, bean sprouts. So let's get that frying pan ready. So go ahead and just put a little bit of oil. Here I'm using animal fat because I made sausages the previous weekend. Uh, I had a lot of saved grease from making those sausages. And I'm putting the lotus roots. These come pre-sliced at the grocery store. And sometimes you'll find it in soups. It's a starch but it is a delicious and filling vegetable. It's a root vegetable. It's a little bit crunchy when it's raw. It's delicious when it's cooked in soups and stir fries. It has a texture that's very similar to a white potato. The kibasa itself has a little bit of fat. So this stir fry will have a lot of unctuous, salty, umami, lip smacking, texture to it that will go very nicely with simple white rice. I also added ginger that I microplaned and it's a really easy way to get ginger into your diet. It's very healthy. Antioxidants in ginger. It lowers your blood pressure and we're just gonna let that sit in the pan for approximately 10 minutes on medium. I'm trying to get every lotus root 
to touch the pan. I have soy sauce in my pantry. I suggest you get it as well. A bit of oyster sauce, soy sauce, garlic, ginger. These are the foundation sauces and flavors of Asian cooking. I love an obscene amount of black pepper. Freshly ground is best versus the prepared powder kind that you buy at the store. And here we have hot chili oil. Hot chili oil has to be maybe the top five ingredients that I love adding to my food. I'm a spicy lover. If you aren't, you can definitely forego the hot chili oil. But if you're a big fan of chili oil and you haven't tried Chinese hot chili oil, I definitely suggest it because it could go into dips and sauces, it can go in your stir, stir fries, it can even be topped on your soups. But the chilies themselves have a crispiness that is, that is really, I love the texture of hot chili, the chilies in hot chili oil. So we're gonna add the last of the vegetables, the cabbage and the soybean sprouts. And these are the vegetables that take the least amount of time compared to lotus root and kibasa to cook. I added a little bit of water to help it continue to cook without burning the bottom. A few of the pieces on the bottom caught, but it's still salvageable. So we are essentially ready. It's been cooking, stir frying, sauteing, for approximately 20 minutes, I made white jasmine rice. I'm gonna serve myself up a good portion in addition to the sauce. You and your family will definitely enjoy all these beautiful vegetables and the salty kielbasa. If you wanna add even more vegetables to your diet. I added spring mix on the side so that you have the combination of cool salad, hot stir fry, and that temperature combination is really addictive. Bon appétit. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you try out this recipe and I'll see you next time. Bye, Solis.